Hello good people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting video for you guys today as always and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to unlock your Mac with the fingerprint scanner on your Android phone. So we're starting off on an Android phone here but before we begin I just want to go over the requirements for this tutorial. Uh, first off you need a Mac that runs at least Mac OS 10.12 so that's going to be El Capitan so anything El Capitan or higher. And then on the Android side, if you're a Samsung device, you can do Android 6 and higher. If it's another type of Android device, like a Google Pixel, for example, like I have here, you're going to need at least Android 7 or higher. And obviously, your Android device needs to have a fingerprint scanner. So starting off on an Android device here, the first thing you need to do is download an app called Droid ID. So if we go into the Play Store and we search for Droid ID, it'll be the first one that comes up. And I already have it installed, so I'm just going to head and click open. And now the first time you open it, you're going to get this sort of authorization code. So now we need to hop over to our Mac and enter in this authorization code to tie the two devices together. So on our Mac, you're going to want to go to this website right here. I'll have a link to it in the description down below. It's where you can download Droid ID for the Mac. And if you scroll down about halfway, there's a little section right here for download the Mac client. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. It's going to give you a zip file. And when you unzip the zip file, you'll be left with this Droid ID application. So if you go ahead and open up and click open, you'll see it's going to ask us to enter in the code from the Android app. So if we go ahead and do that. And enter in our password and click connect. We're now told that Droid ID is ready and we can unlock our Mac with our fingerprint scanner on our Android device. So Droid ID is going to restart and then I'll be able to take advantage of its features. So now that Droid ID has restarted, I should be able to demonstrate this for you. So if we basically lock our computer, or in this case, if I activate my screensaver and then I wake it up, it's now gonna prompt me for my password. So if I'm in the Droid ID app on my Android device and I scan my fingerprint, get authenticated successfully and pretty much instantaneously my Mac unlocks. So that's pretty cool. So not only does this thing work, I would say this thing works pretty, pretty, pretty fast. So that's Droid ID. There is one extra thing that's not really mentioned in the setup process that I want to show to you guys. If you go here to system preferences and you go to users and groups and you go to your user and you go to login items, you're going to want to click on this plus button and add Droid ID to this list. I already have it added right here. The reason why you want to do this is you're going to make it a login item. So if you ever restart your computer, you're going to make sure that Droid ID also starts up with your computer because there'd be nothing worse than restarting your computer and not having Droid ID start up and then you're not able to use the fingerprint scanner. So if you have it here, you can ensure that Droid ID will always be open every time you restart your computer. And finally, just a reminder, you can find links to all the applications you need in the description down below. But that's the video that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button and that notification bell right next to it so you never miss a video. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and take care.